In order to add a little flavor, I'm going to add a separate little intro in each of my videos from now on for my avatar. I just want you people to um, give your opinion down below whether you think it's a good idea or not. Hello, it's me, Danger Mouse, after a decent length um, break from commentating. I think it was a month and a half. I've come back to you now with a grave and dangerous assignment, which is why you can see I've hired some on-screen help there just to make sure that my safety is kept in check the whole way through. Now the person I'm going to be commentating on right now is a dangerous fellow we've encountered before. His name is Life in a Tent, otherwise known as Brian Martin. And by God, is he a hard man. So, we are finally going to get to the truth, whether it kills me or not, on Brian Martin. And I'm going to take a look at his psychotic breakdown where he admits to threatening to kill people over the internet. So, let's get into this. Why I want to kill people. Well, let's... Starting out by answering a question that nobody asked you. How wonderful. Let's just say this, the title of the video isn't very pleasing, so... Isn't very pleasing to who? Us? You? Whoever? I don't know what the fuck that meant. If you're expecting a yelling video, then you've come to the wrong video. This is just gonna be me being honest. That'll make a nice change from the way things usually are with you, which is just lie after lie after lie. But why I... I wanna kill people is because of harassment. So you roam around YouTube harassing people in order to stop harassment. Uh, ever heard of two wrongs don't make a right? There's nothing more than that. I mean, if somebody hits me in my face, I won't kill them. To be fair, if a three-year-old girl hit you in the face, the police department have to send out a rescue team trying to find your head. Okay. But if they harass me for two years now, I will kill them. That's exactly how I feel. Okay, okay, so hypothetically if I came up to you and hit you in the head in real life, you wouldn't kill me, and that's provided you're still conscious, which I very much doubt. However, if I insulted you somehow on the internet, you would do everything you could to kill me? That makes no fucking sense. Just the thought of, you know, my hands around a person's neck. Ah, uh, Brian, let's get real here for a second. You probably can't strangle the piss out of your own shriveled prick, let alone strangle anyone else. A person who thinks they have a right to go and harass people and make their lives miserable. Hmm, considering the shit you've done in the last two years, this would pretty much describe you. A person who thinks that they're above another person and takes advantage of that. Let's get this straight, I just don't think that I'm better than you. I know that I'm better than you. Any reasoning human being's better than a piece of dinosaur shit like you, Brian. Just the mere thought of my hands around their neck, slowly watching that air coming out of their lungs, is exciting to me. Well, Brian, that was supposed to sound intimidating, but really it came off as a frustrated sexual fantasy that will never happen. I absolutely would enjoy that. And if murder was legal, I would totally kill people who harass me and my family. If by family you mean your dumbass brother Kevin, then yes, I've dealt with him before, so I guess I've harassed your family. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Now, you can harass them for a week, that's fine. But we're talking about a year or two or going on to three for some of you people. Um, I would really like to see some evidence of this, Brian, because as far as I know, no one really gives enough of a fuck to harass you or your family like that. And the rumors are true. They say that I've, I've threatened to kill people or whatever. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like that time you or your brother threatened to kill me all over a couple comments I left calling Megan the heart a bitch. How is that you or your family? I threatened to slit their fucking throats. That would be amazing. They can taste metal on a blade through their throat. Very good use of imagery. Brian gets a gold star for creative writing. And you might think that I'm a bad person. I'm really not. Oh, how could anyone have got the impression that Brian is somehow a bad guy by this point? You might think that I'm a psychopath, and maybe that might be the truth in some person's eyes, but... That person being any qualified psychologist or psychiatrist in the entire world. 
I'm not a psychopath. I'm just merely stating the facts. You know, denial isn't just the name of that Thai hooker you let bang you in the ass last night. I mean, if you were being extensively harassed for a long time, we're talking a year or two of your life, of the same people harassing you, wouldn't you want them out of your life? And as I said, there's nothing but just internet shit. This is nothing but internet shit. There's no proof of him ever being stalked or harassed in real life. So he's just making shit up now. Especially if it meant for it to be illegal or something. I would. I mean, the police aren't going to do anything. There are no laws on the internet that even state that, that. That if you threaten to kill someone or if people are harassing you, there really are no laws that do anything. I mean, there, there really is no internet law. Well, hooray, A, we finally hit the first fucking truth in the whole entire video. Yes, there is no internet law, but basically what he's admitted is all this is internet stuff. Guess what, Brian? You can close your accounts, turn off your computer, go outside and do something like me, like blow Megan or something. You don't have to be here. And the fact that you've had several accounts terminated in the past basically says that you shouldn't be here. No one fucking wants you here. I mean, hell, I've been to the police before when so with some extensive harassment, and the police laughed at me. True story. Yeah, I totally believe you, Brian. You're such a trustworthy guy. So you gotta take the laws into your own hands now. You gotta be a vigilante. And that's just how it is. Oh my god, you're such a fucking badass. Oh my god, the guys must just swoon for you. So, and I know people might, you know, have subscribed to me recently and thought that I was legit, which I am. I'm a, I'm a regular guy, just like you guys. I'm totally legit. I'm just like you. I pay my taxes, walk my dog, and threaten to kill people. Don't we all? You know, not, you know, you know what I mean, right? I mean, I'm a regular guy, regular person, like a regular person, but some- Oh, the sociopath trying to mask itself among us. Isn't that cute? Some of you people out there are just stupid you really are dumb you go and you harass people and you and you what you expect them to just sit on it you harass me and you expect me to sit on it well fuck you i'm not i'm not gonna sit on it okay you can sit on this and rotate it that's what you can do i let that play for just a second so you can basically see every argument everyone has ever made against him being used by him which is basically creating a paradox of some variety and to be honest, who the fuck are you to even go, you know, and harass people and think that you're just going to get away with it? And there's a question that has basically been asked of you time and time again since you started ship with Eric Douglas in 2010. You harass me to an extent. I'm talking for a year or two. Okay, I'm going to want to fucking kill you. That's how it is. I think that the punishment for this shit should be death. What if that were to be the case, you'd be the first one getting the long drop and the short stop, Brian. And if I was president of the fucking country, or the damn world... Because there is such a thing as a world president, derpy derpy derp. I would make it so, and there will be internet laws. And I know you guys are thinking that I'm running a dictatorship, which in a way I am. Because that's what's fucking needed to put you guys in your place. Yes, because that would really make for a fucking fantastic dictatorship. One day Hitler was all like, This cyberbullying has to stop ya! Yeah. And the rest is history. Okay. The internet's getting really fucking weird. I remember the internet in the 90s. It was actually cooler than what it is now. I mean, it's not like message boards like alt.sex.bestiality.barney ever existed or anything, right? Now the internet's just a piece of shit. A bunch of people who are going after girls like Amanda Todd and and uh, people that are bullying other people into suicide. Of course, we've got to make it nice and little topical for the kids, and of course, we've got to try and tug the heartstrings. <laughs> These poor kids in the first world killing themselves have really have my heart. If I was like those people, I'd be dead a year ago. But I'm a lot stronger than that. So if you want to go ahead and bully me and harass me, Go right ahead, but the thought of me killing you will never go away. Well, that sounds like it's time to see a psychologist there, buddy. Just hope I don't find out where you live, because I've often 
wondered what would happen if I really truly found out where one of my harassers lived. What would I do? All I can say is man, coming to the other side of the world only to end up lying down in a hospital bed pissing blood into a colostomy bag is not my idea of fun, but hey, you should try it sometime. I mean, I would really wish murder was legal because if it was, that person would be dead in seconds. Oh shit guys, he can teleport. So, I'm sure you guys have a bunch of stories. You guys felt like you want to kill people, you know, or exterminate somebody out of life itself so they don't do anything to yourself and others. Well, now that you mention it, I am having those kind of feelings right now. You can go ahead and let me know in the comment section. Thanks for subscribing. I don't know why you subscribe, but thanks for subscribing to my channel. Yeah, it looks like that company you're using to bot your account is really coming through. And uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to get that out there. There's a little more lip flap after this, but that's basically the end of the video. And I want to thank Life in a Tent for finally coming out and showing everyone what a fucking psychotic piece of shit he really is. It's been a while. People have been accusing him for the last little while, a few couple years of doing this shit and finally he's admitted to it so this video is much like one of my Nision commentaries is always gonna stay up because he's been fairly exposed for who the fuck he is and that's pretty much all I have to say on the guy I'm gonna go out of my way to stop him from watching this video for the simple reason that he is a known false flagger and flagged down mskull01 back in the day and we don't need any more of that shit so I'm certainly gonna hide this video as best I can from the eyes of his growing army of sockbots slash um, you know flag bots whatever the the group of cabal of fake accounts he uses to flag down videos so basically that's what all my videos about him are going to be kind of disguised in order to stop that but other than that there's not really much more to say other than life in a tent if you're thinking of coming for me then you better think twice because I'm strapped, motherfucker.